Welcome everyone to another episode of Getting Over the Hump by your boy Phoenix Bourne. We're on episode four slash week four of the season. Last week we had talked about time, a very nice topic about making sure you maximize it. If you missed it, tune into last Wednesday and you can watch it there. For the fourth episode, the word is going to be action. Now, it's a little bit different in terms of how I wanted to use it, but its definition goes as follows. Something done or performed. Kind of self-explanatory, but if you dig a little bit deeper into what the, the word action means, you'll be surprised on how effective it can be. When it comes to taking action, you have to do something about it. We all want things done a certain way, and we also want them done under a certain time, which is understandable because that's how we are as humans. But we need to actively work on it. We can't just sit here, kind of like how I am, and just say, for example, I want to be rich. You can say it, and you can dream it, and you can envision it, but just because you're thinking about it, that doesn't mean it's going to happen. In order for you to get to there, you have to actively work on it. You have to find a way to get there. So there's nothing wrong with having dreams and goals in whatever journey you decide, but it requires effort from our side. Things that affect us when it comes to taking action in whatever journey you decide, usually reflecting on the past for a lot of time and also staying stuck during a crossroad moment. We can't rely too much on all that because action is a proactive term. We have to keep moving forward or we have to actively change our plan the way it has to move so that way we can reach the goal. So there are ways to go about it. So if you've never actually thought about how to take action, well, here's some stuff that can actually help you out. The biggest thing you should do when it comes to taking action is writing down your goals in a list form. Aside from that, reminding yourself of these goals daily. Whether it's a long-term goal or a short-term goal, this helps you keep track of what you're trying to do. So let's say you want to become rich, but that's mainly everybody's goal. You write down a list of, okay, I need to acquire a certain amount of cash, or I need to have this specific skill set, and then I need to be able to own this property, or have this house, or own this business, you write down all the goals that you want that help you in the journey of getting rich in this case. If you just write it down once and you throw the list away or you don't put it somewhere where you can remind yourself daily, you are going to forget. That's just how we are as humans. We get distracted and then we just focus on other stuff, not being reminded of the journey that we want to be on. Once you have your list written down, the next step is to make a plan. So then you say, okay, I have all these things I want to do, but I don't even know how to start. If one of the goals in your list is really hard and you can't achieve it at the moment, you find a way to get to that goal. So you make another goal. Hence where steps come in. You have step one, step two, step three, go on and then keep going. Whether it's step four or five, however long it is. The goal requires you to complete it, not somebody else. So my goal will be different from your goal. I can't give you my list and say, hey, you complete it because I want it done. No, I understand how the journey is gonna be. You're not gonna be able to understand it from my point of view, just like vice versa. You tell me your journey, I won't be able to sit here and say, uh, yeah, do step two, when I don't see it the way you see it. Now that you have the goals and the plan ready to start, you are almost ready to take action on it. You did start taking action on it, on your journey, but now you have to actually do something about it. So you start working on clearing the list. You clear the first step, awesome. You clear the second step, cool. You clear the third step, great. And you keep going, pursuing whatever the end result is for what you're trying to do. That helps you stay committed and focused as you continue on this journey. Sometimes it won't be as easy as clearing one, two, three. You'll probably get to step one, step two, and then step three is like, uh, what in the world? I, it was supposed to be easy. The first two was easy. Why is this hard? I didn't sign up for this. Sometimes that's how it is. 
And this helps remind you that when things get tough, you already clear certain things. It's like I said before, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. You just stay pursuing it, you stay actively on it, using your time wisely, making smart decisions, important decisions, and making sure that you don't reflect on your past too much. That's how you push forward. As you start clearing the goals one at a time, reward yourself. Tell yourself you, you did it, congratulate yourself, go treat yourself. Like me personally, I love chocolate, so I'll eat the darkest cookie I could find, like double chocolate, triple chocolate. That's me, like I love chocolate. Some people like to go out shopping, some people like to get massages, treat their body. You do what you gotta do to reward yourself. Rewarding yourself is good because it's letting your body know and your mind know that, man, hard work does pay off, even if nobody's looking at it. The most important thing to remember when it comes to taking action in your journey is to not beat yourself up when you make a mistake or five. Remember, you're a human being, and as humans, we make mistakes, but that's how we learn and that's how we grow in this journey. Case in point, whenever I make these videos, I have to write down what I wanna say, pick the theme, make a plan. I like to envision how I say it. I go ahead and say it. I listen to my voice. If it didn't sound correctly or sounded weird, okay, I change it or I redo it again. When I finish the videos, once it sounds good, awesome. And if it doesn't, then I have to go back and edit it. It is nerve wracking when you make a mistake or things aren't going your way, but that's okay. You're taking action on it and you're actively doing something about it. You're going step by step, being able to get to the end goal of your journey. If all else fails, you tried it, but you didn't stay where you were. You didn't just sit here and say, ah, maybe one day. No, you put one foot forward and the second foot followed. And as long as you do that, you're fine. You just stay focused. I hope you enjoyed the fourth episode of the season, Action, um, Getting Over the Hump. If you like what you heard, hit that like button. If you think somebody needs to hear it, share it to friends and family. Tune in next Wednesday for episode five on Getting Over the Hump. And as always, take care and have a good day. Bye.